Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So today I just wanted to share with you an idea that I came up with. Um, I had been toying with the idea of creating some card swatches uh, for cardstock. So this idea gave me this idea. Let me explain to you what I mean. Um, I bought a pack of cardstock from Concord and Ninth recently, and these little stickers actually came with my set of mini cubes that I purchased. So I used them on top of these little tags that I, I just cut these tags out with a die, and I put them here on a binder ring. And then I just labeled it with a white piece. This is, I just wrote Concord and Ninth, so I know that that's what company this is, and I know what color they are. And I'll just be adding that to that as I um, buy more cardstock from Concord and Ninth. Then I have a few colors from Simon Says Stamp. And so um, this is just the cover for that. So we have, I have a lavender in 110, or 100 pound, dull pink, and then this is actually the Nina Solar White in 110, and I didn't want to just have one tag on a binder ring, so I threw that in here with my Simon Says Stamp cardstock. And then as I purchase cardstock colors, I will just add these to these binder rings. And if I go to a different company, then I will make a different binder ring. So I have a whole bunch. You can get binder rings anywhere, Walmart, Target, any office supply store, Amazon. They're super, super cheap and quite handy. And then I have bought some watercolor pencils. Now I actually just bought these at Michael's and I just wanted a basic set. So I have the um, 12 piece and I also bought a watercolor brush or water brush. So it's like a little, um, it's like a, it's like a pen, a felt tip pen marker, but there's what you put water in here. And then when you, when you squeeze it, then water comes out. There we go. Water comes out of the tip. And so doing the swatches of my cardstock, actually gave me the idea to make a, uh, a swatch paper for my watercolor pencils because I wanted to know what does the pencil look like, you know, in its natural state and then what does it look like when we do the watercolor. So I actually, this is watercolor paper and I just made these boxes and, and the text box with the words. I did all of this in Cricut Design Space and made my own little um, page here, like a little swatch page. And so really all I'm going to do, this is so simple, is I'm going to take all of my colors here and I'm kind of going to get them back in order. Okay. And, you know, you could do whatever colors you want, and whatever order you want. So literally all I'm going to do to make this is I'm going to go like this. This is what it looks like without, you know, the water. And you could make it as solid and as dark as you wanted to. And then I'm going to recreate that in the next box. But then I'm going to take the water brush and I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to have, I'm going to have this handy. I, I don't really want to make a mess everywhere. But then I literally, and I'm just going to go like this with my water brush. And that way I can make a swatch of what the pencil looks like when you do the water coloring. And since this is new to me, and I'll just wipe it off like that, and then I'm good to go for the next one. Now you'll notice that, you know, 
this is ink that made the box and the inks are kind of it, it, it runs a little bit and I'm not really going to worry about that I think on the rest I could maybe not go as close to the edge um, or use less water okay so I'm not really worried about it because this is for myself in my craft space but I could maybe just go not so close to the edges and this would be the red and you can get these brushes in different sizes I chose um, I think this is either the medium or the small I want to say it's the medium so then to avoid the edging of the box since I just used my um, Cricut pins to make the boxes and the wording so there we go I think that looks great and then I'm just going to rub that off okay and moving on so we had the pink we had the red and we have the orange and I just thought this would be a really neat idea just so that I have an idea of what the colors look like if I needed to use the color pencil for just coloring as well as what does it look like as a watercolor and I like the idea of swatching I like the idea of swatching my um, distressed inks I'll be doing that soon and I like the idea of having cardstock swatches and my watercolor pencil swatches okay so that is one row down I've got three more rows I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just get this done uh, speed up the video put a little music and allow you just to see how it plays out Well, there we have it. We have a watercolor pencil swatch page. And I really liked how this turned out. I, I like being able to see the variation. Um, you can tell a big difference in the pink and, um, you know, really like the blue, the violet, okay. And what I like about this is it gave me a couple of things. One, it gave me an idea of what the colors look like when I do the watercolor and then I can experiment with using more or less water or more or less uh, heavy-handed coloring it allowed me to practice using the water brush and you know it, it also gave me a feel for using these watercolor pencils they're actually really nice they're nice um, they 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 go on nicely they they're smooth you know they're not like scratchy or anything but anyway this is something you could easily do in a few minutes um, again I just used watercolor paper and I did the all of the black writing I did in Cricut Design Space with my Maker 3 and my black Cricut pen and so I am super excited about this and I think that I am going to go ahead and do a swatch like this for my distressed inks, uh, distressed oxide inks with by Tim Holtz. And I'm just going to keep building on my cardstock rings as well. So um, I encourage you do some swatching of your colors, and you know, kind of 
quite frankly, if I have an extra frame, this would be a neat little thing to put up on the wall just to add some visual interest to the wall in my crafty space. But there it is. Okay, well, I hope this was informative to you. Maybe uh, something that would inspire you to think about ways you can swatch some of your materials and um, just try them out in different ways so you can be able to, I don't know, figure out their full potential. And if it was, go ahead and give it a like. That really helps out the channel. I uh, would love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already a subscriber. And I think that that's it for today. So make sure you enjoy yourself a really awesome cup of coffee. And I'll see you in the next video. But in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.